Hey folks, in the last three weeks I've been highlighting new exciting features from the last update for Affinity Software Update 2.1 that is already released. It's stable, everybody can just click the update. Maybe it's happened already for you in the background, you didn't even notice that. So we already cover all the new exciting features, but it's time to face the music. So from time to time I go to all of your comments and select stuff that you complain about and try to put it into one informative video for new users, people planning to switch to Affinity or maybe actually developers. I know that sometimes they actually watching those videos. So let's summarize what been added, what is still missing in the current version of the software. All right. So let's get started with Affinity Designer. Affinity Designer was the first one that was released and many people believe that this is the most important one for the company right now. So in version two, a while back, last year, they finally add Shape Builder, Vector Warp, Knife Tool. We can add multiple styles to just one layer. All of that highly requested features added already. The recent update 2.1 add another key tool that people been asking again and again, complaining in the, my comment section as well, <laughs> flat field tool, especially uh, X uh, coil draw users. They love this kind of uh, shape builder tool. So simply you can, let me show you, you can draw, uh, you can draw like separate lines. All right, one more here. I got three lines here. Let's move them to actually artboard one. Okay. All right, I got three lines as you can see. And thanks to this flat field tool, I will be able to simply generate a new shape based on this close area here, bam. So that's a really great addition because this is actual vector shape. So that's the biggest addition, I believe. In 2.1, we got this flat field tool. This is vector tool that will fill the area with a new shape as also can be also used as shape builder tool. So take a look if I got two shapes selected together, I can also fill this intersecting area, for example, or maybe here. All right, generating separate shapes thanks to that so great addition what else they fix dash lines so we got more control we can balance them very requested feature and they fix many bugs the release 2.0 is big one so there are a few bugs here and there especially for windows users but they fixed most of them with this new update what's still missing that's the topic of this video right so let's take a look older trace that's still missing people still waiting for it especially ipad users they want to trace raster images into vectors automatically and use it as the starting points very often for their design so that's important Older blend it's still missing we cannot just simply generate steps between shapes automatically we cannot use mesh gradients and we still don't have a proper vector brush. You may say, oh, wait a moment, there is something called a vector brush tool. Yes, that's not a real one. This will make a vector path, yes, but the brush applied to this path is raster brush. That's why you cannot expand it. And it's kind of misleading actually. So careful, it's no vector brush right now. That's a key feature for illustrators. All right. so. Missing features in designer. We're still waiting for trace, auto blend, no mesh gradients, no vector brush. And I'm sure somebody will drop something else in the comment section below. <laughs> something that you're still waiting for. All right. How about affinity photo photo version 2.0? We got several interesting features like this extended raw development that is uh, non-destructive. We can use compound masks. We got a new interface, the whole refresh, right? <clears throat> in 2.1, we got auto clean on the brush. So while you're mixing colors with the mixed color brush, you can auto clean that between clicks automatically. That's really good. We can export to multiple formats now. They add more formats for buff airports and also area tools. Area tools previously added to Affinity Designer are also in Affinity Photo right now. So we can set up a scale on our 
add board I would say because you can still add only one officially. All right, what's still missing? People complaining about AI select. Many programs nowadays put some version of magic select, AI select, when we can simply tell the program to select the subject of the image. So we don't need to like spend 10 minutes or remove the backdrop or select some certain areas. We can speed up the process. It was a gimmick 10 years ago, magic select, magic wand. Now it's really precise and people actually can speed up the process thanks to that. And no AI select for Affinity Photo. Now, the big question is, Adobe is adding all of those AI enhanced tools. Can we generate a background for the image? Can we generate a replacement for the object using AI? No, nothing added, nothing even announced about AI replace. And a very simple feature that is in the free software nowadays, like Photopy, but we are still waiting for its background remover, quick background remover, like for very simple, casual use, just click remove backdrop and then we can save it as PNG and carry on with our project. So that's still missing. And I'm sure you guys will also list up some filters or brush improvements here. So feel free to use the comment section below if there's something that really bothers you, I should include here next time, all right? So that's for our Affinity Photo. And the third software, third program in this family is of course Affinity Publisher. 2.0, a big update for the program. They add notes, finally we can create notes. So we can put a note at the bottom of the page. iPad version for the very first time, we can use Affinity Publisher on iPad, that's huge. Quick grid option to generate multiple shapes quickly. And we also can use select same to select across multiple pages, super handy for those multi-pages documents. 2.1, they add running headers, so we can create a header that will be picked up automatically by running header somewhere in the page. Area tools from Affinity Designer are now native to Affinity Publisher. And of course, I like to say the Studio Link 2.0. Why? Because now we can link to all of the other features. So whatever I say for Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo, we can Studio Link to those new tools as well from within Publisher. We are still waiting for PDF forms. So we want a fillable forms in Affinity Designer. It's still, sorry, Affinity Publisher. It's still missing. We cannot use any script language. We want a better PDF export. We got multiple problems with that. People generating long documents and then only to find out that some fonts are export, not correctly. Like one letter, for example, is bolder than other. So we need a very stable PDF export in software like this. So that's can be still improved and small stuff like adding auto caption for images, improved table edits and stuff like that. We are still waiting for that. This is the newest addition to the family. So I believe there are still many missing features. So feel free to also list them down. As you can see, the most important one that people constantly complain about under my comment section. So that's PDF fillable forms. We want to generate PDF that other people can fill in same way we can do it in uh, Adobe InDesign. All right. So we don't have PDF fillable forms in Publisher. We're still waiting for any form of AI help, auto select, background remove in Affinity Photo. And we are still waiting for auto trace, vector brushes in Affinity Designer. So that was a little sum up of update 2.1. If you want to go into details for each program, I create a more detailed video on new features already. Thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.